What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. It's been a few weeks since I explored a new spot that I found on Google Earth and that is going to change today because I am heading to a location that is almost an hour and a half away that I found on Google Earth. I've actually been eyeing this spot up for quite some time. It looks very promising because it is actually the spillway coming out of a power plant lake. So I'm excited to get out there and see what I can hook into. This is officially the longest Google Earth spot that I have driven to, but I am finally arriving at the spillway and it is looking a lot better than what it looked like on the satellite images. It's actually quite a bit larger than what I was expecting. So I'm hoping there are some decent sized fish in there. Let's get started and see what we can catch. I'm finally down at the spillway and this is looking way better than what I was expecting. This water looks very clear and it looks pretty deep. So. I'm hoping there are some big fish in there. There's only one way to find out. I brought a ton of different setups with me today, but I'm gonna start with my ultralight, toss around this curly tail grub, see if I can get anything to go for it. All right guys, first cast, here we go. As far as bait goes, I brought a few different options, but I'm gonna start out by using a piece of night crawler. Oh, I'm getting a bite guys. There we go, fish on. Oh my gosh. No way. You guys, that felt like a big fish. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Calm down. You guys, there actually feels like a pretty good sized fish in this spillway. All right, I've got this thing loaded up with night crawlers. Let's see if I can get a second chance. Whatever that was, felt like a big fish. It's actually pretty deep out there. If I had to guess, I'd say around 10 feet definitely deep enough to hide a monster. All right guys, I'm gonna toss out a larger piece of Asian carp on my bigger setup to see if I can tempt whatever fish is hanging out down there. Ooh, something has it guys. Here we go. Fish on. Stay on, please. Oh, it's a catfish. There we go, guys. Finally caught a fish. It's like a little channel catfish. Not nearly as big as that first one I hooked into, but I will take it. Finally got that skunk off the board. See you later, buddy. It's taken quite some time, but I was finally able to catch my first fish of the day, that nice little channel catfish, but I know there are some giant fish in this spillway, so I'm gonna get back to it. The spot of the spillway that I believe is the best fishing is actually inaccessible because of these giant cement walls. So to combat that, I'm gonna toss one of my bigger baits way back in there to see if there's any monsters hanging out. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna try to launch this back in there as far as I can get it. All right, that was pretty good. Let's see if it holds because uh, current actually looks like it's pretty strong back there. Holy cow, you guys, something just hit my bait. Whatever hit this bigger rod, it's not, uh, it's not messing with my bait anymore. So I'm gonna toss out my little night crawler, see if that does the trick. Okay, let's try out the old trusty Ned rig. And a snag. Dang it. Oh my God. Check out the size of that crawfish. That is a monster. I don't know what it is with me and crawfish. I seem to find them almost every fishing trip, but this is by far the biggest one I found. That is so cool. See you later, buddy. All right guys, I'm doing a new technique. Instead of a big one ounce piece of lead, I'm using hardly any weight at all. Here we go. Oh, you guys, fish on. 
Oh my gosh. No way. I just caught a bass. What? I just caught a bass on a piece of cut up Asian carp. Are you serious? You guys, I just <laughs> Somehow, when I reeled in this bass, I also got my Ned rig back. That is one of the craziest sequence of events I've ever experienced. See you later, buddy. Today has been pretty special so far. I'm excited to get my lines back out there and see what else I can catch. Oh, nice. Just found a rapala, guys. No way. This is an expensive little lure. Awesome. Fishing has been pretty slow today, but uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I was not expecting to catch a bunch of fish. I'm glad I've at least caught two so far, but I am going to dangle over this edge, try to get my bait in the middle and not get snagged because so far the overall theme for this location has been very snaggy. You guys ever hallucinate and feel like you're getting bites when you're actually just going crazy? Oh, there we go, guys, fish on. I casted way up in that spillway. What is this? Oh, yes, a freshwater drum. Third species of the day, awesome. See you later, buddy. That last fish was sitting way up in that spillway, so I'm gonna try to replicate that because those uh, those freshwater drum actually get a lot bigger than that last one. And this spillway is definitely capable of holding some giants. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, catfish and a uh, little bass. Just catch and release. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. What are you using? Mostly worms. Oh, okay. Just trying to get whatever. Yeah. I've never been here before, so. Yeah. Sure, I'd give it a shot. Yeah, it's yeah, it's setup. Yeah, I did. Throw all in the head and then the yeah. camera over there. Filming YouTube videos. How you guys doing? Good. I believe that's it. Normally you can, you can definitely fish this. Dude, this weekend. Is it a pretty popular spot right here? Fish? Yeah. yeah they fish. I say I noticed a lot of fishing lying around. Oh yeah, they don't up. When the water's running over. So what do people usually catch down here? Most of the guys come down here and they catch a crappie. Crappie, really? Where'd you come from? Uh, about Edwardsville. Edwardsville? Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's just this weekend. So this weekend and then actually next weekend is muzzleloader season. Okay. And just, it's because it's for safety reasons. Like right. You do YouTube videos and stuff. Yeah. Too. 618 Fishing if you want to check it out. 618 Fishing? Yeah. Uh, if you want, I'll have to carry some stuff. Oh, yeah. it's all right. Once I get it all together, it's not too bad. Well, guys, apparently you are actually not allowed to fish down here at this time because it's actually a hunting area. So those two police officers just got done coming down here and telling me that I'm not really allowed to be here right now. So they're gonna, they're gonna write me a warning, but they are pretty cool about it. I'm gonna pack my stuff up and then head back to the truck. There's that back for you. Like I said, it's just a warning. Okay. No fine fees or court. It doesn't go against your fishing license or anything. I just need you to sign it right there. It's pretty much just saying we talked about it and that's it. I'll give you your copy. You don't have to do anything special with it. Okay. That's yours. Put it on the fridge or whatever. <laughs> 618 fishing. Right? Yeah. 618 fishing. All right. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. You got any questions you, for me? We're looking for shiners tonight, man. We'll check it out on YouTube. There you go. All right. Have a good one. You have a good one. All right, you too. We expect a lot of views.
That was, uh, that was not the ending that I was expecting, but those two police officers were really cool. They basically were just informing me that that surrounded wooded area around my fishing spot is actually open for shotgun season right now. So I'm technically not allowed to fish down there right now, but uh, they were really cool about it. I still had a lot of fun today. That has to be one of the coolest fishing spots that I've ever found from Google Earth. So you better believe I'll be back there whenever I'm allowed to be back there, of course. But uh, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. And let's try out the old trusty Ned rig. And a snag. Dang it. You guys, I just... <laughs> Somehow, when I reeled in this bass, I also got my Ned rig back.